Neuralink chip implants in the future make us like an artificial intelligence? By Golden AI. Neuralink, developed by Elon Musk, is a neurotechnology company aiming to create a brain machine interface. Its goal is to develop devices that can be implanted in the brain to enhance human capabilities and potentially address various neurological conditions. The initial focus of Neuralink is on helping individuals with certain medical conditions like Alzheimer's, blindness, or paralysis. The idea is to create a chip that can interface with the brain and restore functionality in these areas. However, the long-term vision of Neuralink goes beyond just medical applications. When it comes to the risks associated with the implant, Neuralink aims to minimize them as much as possible. The company is working on creating a minimally invasive surgical procedure to implant the chip, which reduces the risk of infection. Additionally, the materials used in the implant are biocompatible to minimize any potential negative effects on brain cells or nerves. In terms of radiation, Neuralink's technology does not involve any radiation emission, so there is no risk in that regard. The chip itself is designed to be durable, but if it gets damaged or malfunctions, it can be replaced or repaired through a surgical procedure. Neuralink's technology is not intended to turn a person into a robot or override their individuality. Its purpose is to augment and restore neural functions for medical or enhancement purposes, while maintaining the person's identity and individuality. Regarding what happens when a person with Neuralink implants passes away, the technology does not keep the brain alive or turn the person into a zombie. Neuralink is not focused on preserving consciousness after death. The technology's purpose is to enhance the brain's functionality while a person is alive. Neuralink's focus is primarily on developing its technology for medical purposes and addressing certain neurological conditions. It is not yet available for healthy individuals as a consumer product. The technology is still in the early stages of development and extensive testing and regulatory approvals are required before it can be made widely accessible. As for the cost, since Neuralink is not available for purchase by the general public yet, there is no specific pricing information available at this time. It is anticipated that the cost will likely be high initially, given the complexity and specialized nature of the technology. Regarding accessibility, Neuralink is based in the United States, but their ultimate goal is to make the technology available worldwide. It is expected that as the technology advances and regulatory approvals are obtained, Neuralink may expand its reach to other countries. For a healthy person, the potential benefits of Neuralink in the future could include enhanced cognitive abilities, improved memory, increased processing speed, and potentially even direct communication between individuals using the technology. However, it's important to note that these are speculative benefits and may vary based on further research and development. As with any emerging technology, there may be potential disadvantages and risks that need to be considered. These could include ethical concerns, privacy issues, long-term effects on the brain, and the need for regular updates or maintenance of the implant. It's worth mentioning that while Neuralink's technology aims to interface with the brain, it does not directly enable the ability to write or communicate without physically typing or speaking. The technology's current focus is on medical applications and restoring functionality rather than enabling direct mind-to-text capabilities. It's important to approach any claims or rumors about emerging technologies like Neuralink with a critical mindset. As of now, much of the information about the capabilities of Neuralink beyond its intended medical applications is speculative. While Neuralink has made impressive advancements in brain-computer interface technology, the specific claims you mentioned are not supported by current information. Statements suggesting that a person with a Neuralink implant can think much faster than a normal person, read other people's thoughts, or act like a robot are not substantiated by official reports or statements from Neuralink. It's essential to rely on credible sources and verified information when evaluating the potential of any technology. It's worth noting that Neuralink's primary focus is on medical applications to address neurological conditions, 
and improve the quality of life for individuals with specific needs. While the technology may have potential future applications beyond that, such as enhancing cognitive abilities, the extent and specifics of those capabilities are still unknown and require further research and development.